Good morning, good morning, y'all. On my way to school, but uh, just come to share a little message with y'all before I depart. Oh, let's just make sure all of my stuff is in there first. Yeah, I just want to share a little message with y'all, you know. Let y'all know how I'm feeling. So, um, yeah, I do have a few things I want to address with you guys. There's a ripe. There's like a ripe. Oh, I just have to. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh. It isn't. Anyway. So, yeah, there's just a few things I want to address with you guys. Um, yeah, let's sit you up there real quick while I do so. So, uh, if you don't know, then you know. I'm part of the LGBT. So, it's going to be pretty hard for me to record and drive. So, I'm going to have to stop this at some point. But, yes. So, you know, I made a video and I was like, what I, what I date a trans, right? And I said, yeah, I would. And you could go watch that video and see my reasons why or whatever I said. All right. Now, this video, oh, my goodness. Look what I did to my face. This video is about what I transition and uh, see the thing is I'm 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 a lesbian right I like women I love women like I I adore women and I love everything about a woman and ever since I was a kid sometimes like I felt like a man if I wore a dress like from I was like five like I used to just feel super masculine like I never was comfortable wearing like uh, like even before I started dating females I never felt comfortable wearing women's clothing like being girly none of that stuff to be honest with you guys and uh that's where a sense of my identity comes from so it's not really oh you dress this way because you know you like women or whatever it's it's not even that it's it's just me like it's, it makes me really comfortable i've been wanting to express myself in this way for a very long time and the fact that i like now that i do get to do that i feel so like happy and um I just hope that others could get that freedom also. Now, changing my gender to become a male is not something that I ever wanted to do, um, to be honest. And it's just because I love who I am. I love being a female, you know. Okay, I'm back because I got 13 miles to drive straight. So, yeah, I don't feel like a male but I do feel masculine, right? So I don't feel like I, w I, I was supposed to be a guy or I don't feel like a guy, but I feel masculine and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm currently expressing that. And I love the way that I look. Don't mind my hair, it's literally still drying. I love the way that I look and I love the fact that I'm a female, honestly. Um, because, well, I don't really like like males, like, so why would I want to be a male? Like, I mean, it's kind of like me being something that I, like, like, grosses me out, basically, you know. And I just think that I look very good as a female. I feel like it wouldn't hit the same. Like, I look, I look very good as a, as a, as a female, um, as a biological female. I look very good. I mean, that's just my opinion. I, f I feel like if I was a dude, I would look like a perv. Like, I would have this mustache and this beard. And I would just look like a Mexican perv. 
Because people tell me I look Mexican all the time. So I would look like a Mexican perv. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I wouldn't look the best. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my thing. But really, the real reason is, you know, I, I, I love who I am. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to continue being this person. Now... I will open up myself to you guys and say that there is something that a lot of persons that transition do that I want done. And it's just because I, I dislike that part of my body and because of my family's medical history and because of my own personal medical history. So my mom is a cancer survivor. My aunt passed from cancer in uh, like September. And um, she's a, she, both of them had breast cancer at the same time. My mom had an issue with her breast when she was a kid. And uh, when both of them were like sick, I was there every step of the way. So I, I experienced what it was like and it was very painful to watch. And um, the thing about it is when I was younger, I had a lot of pain in my breasts, like, I'm talking, like, they were swollen, and I didn't know what was happening, like, I would get lumps that would just disappear, and I think that's actually, like, I don't want to call it on myself, I'm a knock on wood, but I think when lumps come and disappear, they call that cystic fibrosis, I'm not too sure, because they would come... In my breast, they would be all over. They would literally swell. Like, I mean, I couldn't even move. And I was a kid. Like, all of this was happening when I was a kid. The last time it happened, I was in 10th grade. But more recently, like, I've been noticing some shifts with them also. And I just feel like the best prevention me me mechanism for me is to just get them off. Um, take them off. Uh, because I, I don't even like them. Like, honestly, that's the part of my body where I go in the mirror. I look at it and it's like, oh my gosh, I don't, like, I don't want them. And then, like, just knowing that I, I could have the gene mutation that could develop, you know, breast cancer because of my strong history, you know, my mom and everything. It just makes me more, even more want to just get it off because she was strong and the things that she did in her journey I don't think that I would ever want to do like I feel like I just want to say hey I don't want to go through this just let me go you know so that's that's the only part of it but it's, it's because of me like just not liking that part of my body and also because of my you know medical history um but yeah, so no, I I wouldn't transition. You know, I just get top surgery. Some point in my life, I do want top surgery. This traffic is so crazy, y'all. But anyway, y'all, make sure like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications for this video, and there'll be more videos coming. Like at y'all, crazy. I got a whole quiz that I gotta go study for. I wish I could have recorded at school, but we're prohibited from doing so, so that's not possible. But uh, I actually have to go pick up my uniforms on my break. I am I might go pick those up this morning because I do have time, but I don't know if the office is going to be open. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, I, really I really like in school, you know, I just got to get more focused lately my mental health hasn't been doing too well with me you know but um yeah i'm gonna get it together but anyway you know that's just me but you know make sure like and subscribe like i said check out my merch closet down below and uh yeah don't mind this bump on my face because i know where this comes from <laughs>